every prison is full of guys who are attempting to be the alpha male, the alpha male of the group. They tend to be the most obnoxious and loudest people in the room. Oftentimes they're a nuisance and troublesome, but without a lot of effect. Essentially, all bark, no bite, for the most part. Prison alphas usually have a need to try and dominate those weaker than them. They don't swing up. They usually target their attacks downward at people. Once you cut through all the noise, these guys are usually very insecure. They attempt to instill fear in others, believing that that is where their true source of power comes from. Of them, the quote is true. The loudest in the room is usually the weakest. You should never emulate the behavior of these alpha males. If you're going to model behavior after anyone in hopes of becoming a better person, model it after the sigma male. As opposed to the alpha, the sigma has no desire to let others know that they know what they know. Rather than trying to stand on the shoulders of others to look tall, they'll bring others up to their level because they're not insecure about their own strength so as to put someone else down. These men are the true natural leaders, not because they demand a seat at the table, but because they exhibit leadership by what they do rather than what they say. Oftentimes they don't want to be a leader, and that's exactly what qualifies them. Alpha males are a dime a dozen, and their mouth usually precedes them. Sigmas are much rarer because they've already been through the things that alphas are attempting to propagate. If you feel the need to convince another of your strength, you've already failed. At the end of the day, the mind of the fool is in their mouth, but the mouth of the wise is in their mind.